Hello students, in last lecture we discussed about function. Continuing with the same, today we will be talking about composite function, inverse of a function and even odd function. So starting with the first term that is composite function. Let us define the term. Composite function. So let us say we have two functions f and g defined for given sets. Let's consider f is a function defined from set A to set B while g is another function defined from say B to C. Okay, let's define the sets A, B, C using Venn diagram. Say set A has elements a, B and C. Correct. Let us consider set B has elements L, M, N. Fine. And consider set C has elements P, Q, R. This is set B. This is set C. Right. Now we define a set a function from A to B and another function from B to C as f of A is L, f of B is M, f of C is N. That is we can relate it like this. Similarly, G of L is P, G of M is Q, G of N is R. Right? We can relate it in this manner. Now, we are trying to define a composite function from set A to set C. We can say, consider a term G of Fx. Let's talk about the term G of Fx. How we can define it? When we substitute the first element of this set A, that is A, in place of x, we get f of A here, right? So let's write it g of f of A. We know f of A as defined in this case is L. So we write here g of L. Now g of L is in turn defined as P, correct? So g of L is P. Similarly, g of f b is g of m that is q g of f c is g of n that is r so we find a function g of f is defined from a b c to p q r that is g of f is defined from a to c. So in this manner, we describe a composite function g of f. We need some condition to define any composite function, whether it is g of fx or f of gx. In this case, when we try to go for f of gx, what it results in? We find f of g of when we put first value for x from set b that is l we get f of gl that is f of gl is p correct so we get f of p now f of p is not defined that means we cannot talk about the term f of gx g of fx is clearly defined from a to c but f of gx could not be defined Let's take another example through Venn diagram and then we will try to define it in general form, right? So starting with another one. Okay, let's take two more cases to get better idea of this composite function. Let us say again I define f from a to b and g from b to c but this time Let's say set A is A, B, C, D. 
set B is L, M, N, P and set C is U, V, W. Let us redefine this G instead of B, let's say it is from B dash, that is a subset of B, right? I'm defining F by F A as L, F B M, F C N, F D P. Now B dash, let's redefine the term B dash. It is L M N, right? Now G is defined from B dash to C as L to U, M to V, N to W, correct? Now when I go for G of F of A, I find G of L, which is U, G of F of B, that is G of M, that is V. Then G of F of C is G of N, that is W. And lastly, G of F of D, that is G of P, which is not defined, means again I am not able to define G of F as in the previous case of F of G, that's so we can say G of F is not defined. This thing is clear, G of F is not defined as we observe G of F of D is G of P, but in domain of function G, element P is not there. So, we were not in a position to define the composite function G of F. Take another case. Say, F is defined from A to B, G is defined from B to C. Again, I will be changing the set A, B, C from the previous case. Set A, A, B, C. Set B, L, M, N, P. Set C, U, V, W, Q. I define F from A to B. I define G from B to C. Now looking for G of F of A. That is say related like this. So G of F A is G of L that is U, G of F B that is G of M that is V, G of F C is G of N that is W. There is no other element left in set A. So, it is not required to look necessarily for P in this case, means it is well defined. It is well defined in this case, so we observe that G of F is defined. This is clear. So we observe here the difference between these two patterns, these two cases. In the second case, we find that range of the function F is a subset of domain of G. So what we look here, that range of function F is a subset of domain of function G. So when we observe such a case that range of the function F is the subset of domain of G, 
we find the function g of f is defined. So now we are in a position to give a proper definition to the term composite function and move on some examples. So let's define this term properly with some language.